In today's video, we're gonna go over five reasons to love dividend investing over all other types of investing. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bruce Wang. Today, we're gonna switch it up and I'm gonna go over my M1 Finance portfolio first. So this is the Wang Gang portfolio, $6,167.65. So this portfolio has been growing a lot faster lately. Many reasons why that is. Um, one of them is because I'm investing a lot more money into it. Uh, so that means my dividends are growing a lot faster. Another reason why is because of the capital gains. The stock market has been doing pretty well over the last few weeks here. And uh, my portfolio is really showing that total return so far is at 13.38%. That is pretty crazy. Um, let's take a look at uh, the market gains. Over $200 of that is from market gains and another almost $50 from dividends, earned dividends. So in the last month, I gained about $13.53 worth of dividends. So that leads me to the first reason why to love dividend investing, and that is because it is just so simple to understand. So let's take a look at some of the stocks that I own here. McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, Home Depot. You guys know all of these companies. These businesses create profits every single year. And when you invest in uh, that company, you can get a piece of that profit in dividends. And the other portion of that goes into the shareholders' pockets as dividends. And generally, when these businesses do well for a long period of time, they tend to raise their dividends. So that means you get even more dividends over time. So when it comes to M1 Finance, I've been investing $300 into this portfolio every single week. And that is going to really speed up my investments. And um, I think it'll take a few more months until I'm able to see um, bigger returns on my dividends. In the past few days here, I've already gained $7 in dividends from Verizon, AT&T, NRZ, LTC. A lot of these companies are well known and some are less well known, but um, they still regularly pay out dividends every single quarter or every single month. And a lot of these dividends are very passive. Um, I'm not working any harder to earn them. And that leads me to the second reason why to love dividend investing is because dividend investing is very stable. Every sing if you invest in a a uh, high quality company. Um, these high quality companies are gonna be paying you out regularly every single quarter or every single month, their dividends. So as I was showing you before, I'm getting paid out regularly throughout the month. Um, through the, throughout the month of October, I was seeing about um, seven to $8 worth of dividends. On my Robinhood account, I was seeing just under $40 worth of dividends. And the most stable dividend that I've been receiving every single month is from this one uh, ETF. I like to invest some of my portfolio into bonds, and that is because bonds are relatively safe compared to stocks. Um, if we take a look at the one month, this is considered a dividend payment. It'll tell you exactly how much money uh, you'll be getting paid out if you own one share, and that is 19 cents. And let's take a look at the five year chart here. Um, if you invest in this bond from Vanguard, uh, Vanguard's total bond market, you'll be getting paid out 19 cents. Um, sometimes it changes, but these are all the dividend payments throughout the last five years. And the one thing about investing in bonds is that you're not gonna see a continual growth or a continual decline in the ETF. So let's take a look at the percentage change of the last five years. It is only a 2% difference. And you know, just scrolling down, less than a percent now. In the one year chart here, it was a 8% uh, gain. This is pretty crazy. Um, this is not typical, I have to tell you. This is uh, not typical at all. But this year was a pretty crazy year. The year is not over yet, so who knows? Um, I'm not gonna be the guy that tells you that a recession is gonna be um, coming this year, or next year, or ever. So when it comes to the Wang Gang, the performance return is exceptional. I would love, I would love to see this portfolio see about a 10% return every single year, if possible. Um, Fingers crossed, I can't predict that, but I will be, but I will still be investing in these high quality stocks. So now let's take a look at the Robinhood portfolio. So the Robinhood challenge is what my channel is typically known for. I think a large portion of you guys are here because of the Robinhood challenge. So let's take a look at my portfolio here. Right now it's sitting at $10,356.47. 
Um, let's take a year. Let's take a look on the year year's performance. Um, this is where I'm seeing the most gains almost 17% gain year on year, $1,500. So to sum that up, a 17% gain on the year is pretty good, is above average. And uh, especially for me, since I'm still pretty new when it comes to investing in stocks. So the first purchase that I made this week is with Starbucks. So I bought only, so I only bought one share of Starbucks for $82.56. So with Starbucks, it is a buy and hold type situation here. I, I can see myself having hundreds, thousands of shares of Starbucks. Um, this is a company that I don't believe that's gonna be going anywhere anytime soon. And that leads me to the third reason why to love dividend investing. It reinforces you to buy and hold because you do wanna have that dividend coming in every single month, coming in every single quarter. And just holding on to these big name brand companies like Starbucks, you will be able to make profits off of that. And eventually, you know, 10, 20 years down the line, you might even be able to live off of those dividends. That is that is the goal that I'm trying to achieve, especially when, you know, who knows what's gonna happen in the future. I might not be able to work for whatever reason if I get in an accident or if my health declines. Um, I might be able to live off of this portfolio if I can grow it to a large enough number. Most likely it will have to be in the seven figure range. So for the second stock that I bought this week is IBM. I bought two shares this, uh, this week. I bought them in two different orders. I completely forgot why I did that. And I bought for $136.92. I've been trying to accumulate as much IBM as possible. Right now, I think that IBM is very undervalued. I've been seeing a lot of comments hating on me for buying IBM. Right now, I see IBM in a very similar situation as, as Pfizer. They were both undervalued at the time of uh, me purchasing them. Um, I bought 25 shares of Pfizer at $36 average cost. Right now, I see a almost 5% gain on my purchases on uh, Pfizer. So. Maybe a month, two months down the line, I will see very similar types of gains from IBM. And if IBM doesn't turn their business around, I'm still able to collect their dividends if I hold it for long enough. Um, again, reinforcing the buy and hold is one of the reasons why I love dividend investing. So for the third stock that I bought this week, I bought three or four shares of Prospect Capital. This is the more riskier stock when it comes to my portfolio and one of the most controversial stocks out there on the YouTube, on the internet. So my strategy with Prospect Capital is I'm just trying to average my way down. Uh, my, ac my actual average cost right now is at $6.68. That is pretty high compared to the price range right now. So if I can get that average down as much as I can, collect the dividends every single month, uh, this is a monthly paying dividend stock. If you guys want to see anything from this that I'm talking about, um, you guys can just go check in the links in the description. I explain everything. You guys can, you know, join Robinhood. You guys can join M1 Finance there. Just go check that out there if you guys are interested in anything. So like I was saying, Prospect Capital is a monthly dividend paying stock. And if I included my dividends received from Prospect Capital, my total return would be more than negative. It would be in the probably in the $10, $20 range. So for the fourth reason to love dividend investing is because it helps fight inflation. So if you're one of those type of people that just loves cash, loves holding cash in their bank accounts, if you just hold that cash for 10 years down the line and not invest it, the value of that cash will just slowly go down year by year by year. I think the average, um, I think the inflation rate is around like two to 3% every single year. I could be wrong. Let me double check that real quick for you. So the inflation rate is very similar to what I was saying is at 1.7%. So if you're just holding on to cash and not investing it in dividend stocks, then that means your money is just gonna go straight down every single year. Um, so that's why like before I was like that. I was just keeping a lot of cash on hand. If I needed to buy anything, I would just buy it with cash. But you know, there's smarter ways to invest your money and um, I'm doing that with dividend investing. I'm doing that with real estate investing. I'm able to see a higher return than uh, whatever I was getting from the banks. You know, so with my investing in Robinhood, I'm seeing a 17% gain on the year. With my investing on uh, M1 Finance, I'm seeing like a 13% gain on the year. Um, it's better to invest your money, um, especially if you're brand new. It's better to learn now 
um, and start with a smaller account. Like you guys can go back to the beginning of these playlists um, of these videos that I started. Um, I started with zero dollars. So if I'm able to do it, I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be able to do it. And that leads me to the last reason why I love or to love dividend investing is because it's fun. It's fun to see these numbers just climbing up week by week, month by month. Um, I love seeing, I love making money. Like who doesn't love making money? And I love making money with dividend investing. It's just a lot easier to do it. My stock portfolio is close to $30,000 at the moment. And you know, with the dividends, they're starting to really help me invest uh, more and more now. And I reinvest all of those dividends. And all of those dividends are like a friend helping me invest in the stock market. I think uh, on average, I'm seeing around like $100 now um, when it comes to total dividends earned every single month. And that dividend is something that I don't have to work for. My portfolio is doing it for me. So thank you, my friend. Thank you, my dividend investing friend. So if I've converted you into a dividend investor, leave me a like down below on this video to let me know. Um, if you guys want to see more videos from me, go check out these videos here. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I would appreciate it if you also hit that notification. I love you 3000 and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.